guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca if you're new here and today we are back at Disneyland. I am in the Toy Story lot right now. I'm gonna be walking towards the buses in just a moment to go head towards the parks. I'm here with family today so it's gonna be a really, really fun time. We don't have too much of a plan today but we do wanna get on Monsters Inc. and we wanna try some of the seasonal treats. They have a Jolly Holiday and probably just look around for some new merch. We're gonna be starting off in DCA today because that is gonna be our starting part. If you'd like to join us, let's go inside of Disney. Can we take a minute to acknowledge the ears? These are the enchanted ears that came out. I think these were part of the Disney Decades collection. I didn't realize how silly the bow on this was going to look until after I put them on, which there's nothing wrong with looking silly at Disneyland, right? If anything, that's the place to look a little bit silly. I'm not too crazy about it. I feel like it just sits kind of in a weird and wonky way, but we're gonna roll with it today. I think this is anything new, but over here in Elias & Co, they have this big foot Groot. He's $34.99, but again, I don't think he's new, but I think this is the first time I've seen him. Okay, over here in Elias & Co, I came over here and saw that they have the Munchlings, the Emil Munchling, and oh, that's Emil, and the Remy Munchling on sale for $10, you guys. $10 originally $34.99 and you can use your magic key discount on top of this so let's say you get like 20% off you're only paying eight bucks for both of these so I think that's a pretty good deal the ones that are on sale are Remy, Emil, and Angel and Angel is the only one that I don't have but she's not here so if I see her anywhere throughout the resort I'm probably gonna go pick her up because that is a steal also over here in Elias & Co they have the animators collection dolls these are like all the princess dolls they're so so cute. The thing is, I want these so bad just because they're so cute and small, but I have no reason for them. And I'm a grown woman, so like, what am I gonna do with these, you know? On Hollywood they have the Disneyland like it's like in the 90s collection that they're doing right now I noticed these two like his and her shirts say Mickey and Minnie there's no price on them but I'm going to guess that they're $34.99 page to look at all of the artwork. All these cast members are so talented, the ones who draw all of these pictures. But they also have really cool figurines and stuff in here. I especially love these giant journals that they have. They have them for all different princesses and characters. There's Cinderella over here. I know they have a Sleeping Beauty one somewhere and that one is definitely my favorite one. This is the Sleeping Beauty journal I was talking about that I absolutely adore. It's $34.99 but it looks just like the storybook at the opening scene of the movie. Okay, they have this print inside off the page that is just of all of the princesses. If you know me, you know that I love the Disney princesses, especially Aurora. She is my girl. This is so cute. Now, after off the page, it's like an unspoken rule that you have to go into Animation Academy.
Okay, so over here in the studio store, they have these new Remy and Emil ears. I'm pretty sure they're new. I've never seen them before. Got little Remy and Emil and with a cheese bow. That's so nice. <laughs> Pretty sure these ears are $34.99. Again, I don't know if these are new either. I'm really behind on the ear game here at Disney, but they have these Minnie Mouse ears. She's on the beach looking cute as ever. There's no price on these, but I'm pretty sure they're $34.99. Okay, we made our way over here to Hollywood Studios, and our first ride of the day is going to be Monsters Inc., so let's go down the ride. all of the carts take off and everything so we'll go and just hang out over there for a little bit. Over here in Nick Snacks they have these new Mike Wazowski park hats and I'm pretty sure you can get them embroidered the way you can with the other hats. These are $24.99 and they have them right when you walk in in Nick Snacks over here. They have a lot of the Toy Story plushies and some of them have the name Andy written on the foot but a lot of them have the name Bonnie written on them which is so weird to see but I get it because of the newer movies. It's weird to see that they have another name written on them other than Andy. success because they have the angel munchkin here at Bing Bong. Like I said, they're on sale for $10 right now, but I can use my magic key discount and get it for eight bucks. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab her. They have these new Easter Mickey and Minnie Mouses. They're so stinking cute. At the bottom it says Disney 2024. Nothing about Easter, but they are Easter related. I know they are. These are $34.99 each which is kind of rich, in my opinion, for stuffed animals like this, but I guess they are for the holiday season, so they're like limited edition, but they're very cute. Hi guys, I'm over here in front of the Pixar Pal Around. Isn't it beautiful? I also have you balancing on top of the trash can, so. The original plan was going to be that we were gonna get on Little Mermaid, but being that I get on Little Mermaid every time I come here. I decided not to. We're actually gonna head over to Downtown Disney now to go to World of Disney. We wanna shop around and see if we can find any cute merch. But after that, we're gonna cross over to Disneyland. So let's head over to Downtown Disney. Of DCA, we ended up stopping by the churro car over here by the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail because they have a Neapolitan churro, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. throwing me off about that churro was that it was just overly sweet. I have a really big sweet tooth so normally stuff like that doesn't bother me but this one was just different. <laughs> I think what threw me was the strawberry sugar with the chocolate drizzle. It's not for me. Bottom line. It's not for me. 
Okay, so I'm in the Grand Californian right now. We're crossing through here to get to downtown Disney, but I came into Acorn Gifts and Goods. I think that's what the store is called inside the hotel, but they have these new Dooney and Burke ears that just released, I think like yesterday or two days ago. You can probably find them around the park also, but they're $1.98. They're really cute. They have like sketches of Mickey and Minnie on them. They're here at the parks so if you guys are trying to get $200 ears. <laughs> I love that here at the Grand Californian they have their own line of merchandise that you can only find here inside the hotel. Like they have these ears that recently came out. They say the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa on the back and they have little acorns on them. They're really, really cute. They also have luggage down here that I think is new. I've never seen them before, but they're really nice for $70. And they also have these backpacks, bags. Jackets and hats here. You can find these over here at the Grand Californian. In last week's video, I showed the pizza ears and the pizza lounge fly, but now they have the matching spirit jersey. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this because I know that these are supposed to resemble pepperoni, but to be honest, they look like egg yolks to me, and I can't unsee it. There's no price, but I'm assuming they're $80. These caramel apple dog bags here that are so stinking cute. I wish my dog was small enough to fit in these, but he's not. These are $59.99. They're big enough to fit a small -ish dog, but they're really, really cute. They also have this new reversible tote bag. It's got a little bow inside. I don't know if you guys can see. You can either have it be red or black on the outside, but this is $44.99. And it's here at the entrance of World of Disney. There wasn't a whole lot of new merch in World of Disney, but now we're finally going into Disneyland. So let's go inside. We're here in the Emporium. They have these graduation cap ears. They bring these out every single year for the grads and this one says class of 2024. I'm actually debating on getting a pair of these because I'm graduating this year, but they have them here. They're $34.99. They also have the actual graduation caps that have the ears on them and it says class of 2024. I think I have one of these from when I graduated high school, so I wouldn't reach for this. I'd probably go for the other ears, but they are here at the Emporium if you are interested in them. decide what we're gonna do from here. My mom also tried the banaki pie for the first time so she's gonna give you guys her little review on it. Okay. So I really enjoyed that banaki pie and Jolly Holiday. I would give it a definite 8 out of 10. It was really great. I thought the texture was great. I thought the graham crust um, was great and what I did is I ate it from the inside out whether that's the right way to eat it or not. Um, but nonetheless it was really really good. Highly recommend go get one. Go get one at Jolly Holiday. <laughs> now we're going to head over to Frontierland to get on the Columbia. I've never been on the Columbia before, I've only ever been on the Mark Twain, but it's down for refurbishment right now, so the Columbia is the next best thing. So let's head over to Frontierland. ship leaves at 4 30 so we're barely going to be making the last trip for the day you guys
has docked, uh, but I really want to get off of this boat, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did get a little bit of motion sickness, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I started to feel a little nauseous once I went downstairs in the boat. It's okay, we're doing it for the vlog. Star Trader in Tomorrowland, I saw that they had these like really big fanny packs that I've never seen before. And it's got all, you know, Matterhorn, Castle, I think this is Carpe Circle, and the Ferris wheel. And this is the back, it's $39.99. I've never seen this, I don't know if it's new, but it's here at uh, the Star Trader in Tomorrowland. We just left Disneyland because the parade is about to start and we're all getting a little bit hungry. So we decided that we're gonna come over here to Earl of Sandwich in downtown Disney to get some sandwiches. So let's go. We just sat down at Earl of Sandwich and we're waiting for our food. I feel like I come here every single time I come to Disneyland because their sandwiches are that good. I got the holiday turkey sandwich, which is my sandwich of choice. It's my favorite one that they have here and I'm a creature of habit so I get it over and over and over again when we come here. We're just waiting for our food and then we're gonna eat and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that, but we'll figure it out. We just left Earl's. The sandwiches we had were so good, but now we're going to head over into DCA again. But first I'm gonna go get my jacket from the locker because it's starting to get really, really cold out here. <laughs> here with all the lights and everything. Now I think we're actually gonna head towards San Francisco Square and then from there just head out. Let's go to San Francisco Square. shining so brightly over Guardians and it looks so nice in person. I wish this camera was able to pick this up because it truly is just like so beautiful. They've had these balloon pillows for a while now. I would say they came out about a month ago and I've been wanting one so bad but I can't justify spending $40 on a pillow like this, even though it's so cute and the color is so pretty. Every time I come here, I look at it and just wish it was mine. <laughs> Alright 
guys. I think that's gonna do it for me today. I am back at the Toy Story lot, which means it is time to go home <laughs> and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>